not too bad. He's waiting for the discount, though. But anyway, in the meantime, <laughs> I don't know if it would get off the ground today because some strong storms, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have strong storms northeastern parts of this day. Here in the Albuquerque area, what we're looking at, as expected, we're hot, but we are a whole lot less humid than we have been over the past several days. 92 degrees. Look at that, 6% relative humidity. So if you have a swamp cooler, it's working a whole lot better than it has over the past several days. All right, for your headlines, hot holiday weekend for most of us. Strong to severe storms, not just today, but continuing for the Central Mountain Chain eastward all the way through the long holiday weekend. And rather dry and rather hot to the west. Now, here's that uh, overall pattern that we have for you. Dry air working in from the west. This little dip in the jet stream. That's a trough of low pressure. And you can see it's ahead of it's lifting up and causing those showers and thunderstorms. Some reaching severe levels over northeastern parts of New Mexico. So let's show you how long that will last. This is future track. You can see that brunt of this pushes on into west Texas. And then there will be some wraparound showers, not at the severe level but overnight around Clayton and then there will be some uh, low clouds eastern parts of the state bright sunshine and refreshing conditions elsewhere central and western sections by the noon hour see the thunderstorm starting to form in the northern mountains and as it works into eastern parts of the state some of these could be reaching severe levels now we we're talking about large hail potentially damaging winds all in this area the dark green down into southeastern parts of the state where late in the day in the evening hours they look to be pretty strong there as well then we go on into Sunday and the storm Storm track will be across northeastern parts of the state with the potentially severe weather. The lighter green shades, that would be more your garden variety showers and thunderstorms. And there's room for an isolated gusty storm around Albuquerque and Santa Fe as we get on into Sunday as well. But a good start on the day with the dry air in place, 64 degrees. And then we'll warm into the low 90s with the winds not being overly strong. So you see it dry and quiet. Central and western parts of New Mexico, stormy at times, scattered eastern parts of the state. Notice that's the trend. And really, it continues for the next several days. Storms will form in the mountains, work into eastern parts of the state. Some could be strong to severe, and that would be a concern for the burn scars because just a little bit of rain could cause some big problems there. All right, four corners reaching forecast all the way through the holiday weekend. It's going to be dry and hot, and look how temperatures really start to climb to near the century mark on the 4th of July for Farmington. So make sure you have all the precautions ready. Drink lots of water and have the sunscreen on and, and protection from the sun. And we'll see Silver City in the the 90s over the past next several days and then mid 90s from there on out. So another hot weekend and a hot week expected northeastern parts of the state down in the southeastern New Mexico. There could be some strong storms, especially around Carlsbad and Hobbs. And then the thunderstorm potential starts to drop. And then when that happens, the drier air will kick up the daytime highs again into the triple digits. Northeast storms in the mountains and then pushing into eastern parts of the state where they could be reaching severe levels. Another flux of moisture from a backdoor cold front will trigger the pockets of heavy rain again on Sunday. So the big concern would be for burn scar areas. Northern mountains, a uh, room for a passing storm early on and then pushing to the east. Some isolated showers and thunderstorms Sunday and Monday down into Santa Fe. And look at the hot low 90s for the 4th of July on into Wednesday. And a refreshing start giving way to a hot afternoon, but not overly hot for the first day of July. So 92 degrees. And look at that, mid 90s for Sunday on into Monday with room for a passing gusty storm. And then look at that near the century mark, upper 90s to near the century mark for the 4th of July, Wednesday and Thursday. So hard to believe like it's the first day of July for tomorrow, <laughs> but it's going to start off hotter than drier than normal. How about that? Yep. All, right. All right. Thank you, Joe. <laughs>